<sighs> okay, hello everybody. Welcome back to the Native Family. If you are new here, welcome, and if you're returning, hey family. I have been trying to film this video for about 45 minutes. I'm ready to just put the camera down and start crying, but I'm not. I'm gonna get through this video. So if you guys are seeing this, that means you stuck around in my absence, and I appreciate it so much. If you guys are new here, and this is the first time you've ever popped up into my channel, my name is Misty Autumn, and we are the Native Family. I have been MIA since January-ish. I think that's the last update I did on our community post. Um, we all had COVID. Everybody's doing well now. COVID kicked my ass. It drug me from one end of the block back down to the next end of the block. Um, I do have some long haul effects from it. Um, my hair thinned out. I don't know if you could tell, but my hair is a lot thinner. Um, my right eye has the drip. It does not stop dripping. I constantly have to put eye drops in it. And I will walk into a room and forget why the hell I walked into a room. Now that could be just old age. We never know. But with all joking aside, it was rough. But every, like I said, everybody's doing good. The only thing that the kids are really gone through is there's certain taste buds they didn't get back and there's certain foods they, they just don't like anymore. I have not been present on social media, Instagram, um, emails, YouTube. I have not been present. And like I said, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I should have updated you guys to let you know what was going on, to let you know that we were okay. But my plate is so full right now. I do have underlying health conditions that I was dealing with on top of that. And I am going through some mental health issues as well. And I'm not ashamed to talk about it. That's why we're here today. I am a full-time student again, which we will get into that into a later video. This video is pretty much just kind of giving you guys an update of what was going on with us, because I know a lot of you wanted to know. And I appreciate you sticking around. I appreciate that you guys have reached out to us to see if we are okay, because I was skimming through some of the comments today. Like I said, I didn't even touch social media, social media because I needed to take that break. So I do appreciate every one of you. Thank you so much. I will be hopping on and answering comments and I've already filmed four videos today so you guys will have some content out there but I need to talk to you guys about something real and something that has been affecting me and it might be affecting some of you guys too that's why I wanted to come on here and kind of talk to you guys with my underlying health conditions if you're not mentally okay you're never going to be physically okay and I found myself sad I found myself not wanting to get out of bed. I didn't want to get dressed. I didn't want to put makeup on. I didn't want to comb my hair. And I really didn't want to sit down and film videos. I didn't want to be around anybody because I felt like my negative feelings for what was going on with myself would rub off on good people. And I have some amazing friends that are super positive and I just didn't want to rub them the wrong way and always be like a sad person, like a Debbie Downer. I didn't want to put that onto them. So I stepped back and decided that it was time to start trying to heal my heart. And there are certain things that I've gone through in life that I haven't had the proper chance to mourn the right way so that my heart could be healed. So I had to accept the fact that it's okay to not be okay. And I'm trying not to get emotional with you guys. But I was taught at a young age is you don't cry in front of people, you don't show weakness you put your big girl panties on and you dust yourself off and you move forward. I don't have a mom and dad to call to say, hey, this is going on, what should I do? I have a beautiful, my beautiful little family right here. My circle is small, but my circle is strong. I love my kids, I love my hubby, my best friends. I have two best friends and I adore them. But I felt like I was being selfish because I was just so angry. I don't know, angry, hurt. It's hard to explain those feelings unless you've gone through it. And I know some of you guys out there are probably going through the same thing. I looked in the mirror and I didn't recognize who I was anymore. Um, I have so many hobbies. I love to paint. I love to draw. I love crafting. You know, listening to music and writing. Writing was my outlet my entire life. And I just wasn't doing it anymore. And being a mom, I thought automatically all my time and love and thoughts and emotions have to go to my children. Because with COVID happening, my kids went through it too. My kids suffer from anxiety attacks, social anxiety disorder. My babies have a hard time going and ordering food at restaurants. So, oh, going to school, things like that. The small, simple things my babies were having a hard time with. So, 
as a mom, I, I put my feelings back again because I wanted to make sure my kids were okay. So we are working on their growth as well. Um, I was going to quit YouTube because I felt like social media had become a type of poison. Because this whole time when I started my channel, I didn't start my channel to compete with anybody, to be the best or anything like that. I just wanted to find other moms that I could fit in with. You know, I was home all the time. I had the, you know, the chance to be a stay-at-home mom with my kids and watch them grow up and do all the PTA stuff, but I was bored. So I thought I would make friends on here. And I learned hard lessons of being on YouTube and being a creator. Not everybody who's nice to you is being nice to you for the right reasons. Um, there's people that will judge you simply because somebody told them something about you even though they've never met you a day in their life or spoke to you a day in their life. They will take whatever these people are saying back here and form a judgment upon you. And so say you go into a live or something or you comment on a video and they reject you because they have this thought of you in their mind because of a person who said it back here. So that was a hard thing for me to understand. I look different. Yes, I know. I have bright colored eyes. I can't change my eye color. I have bought contacts to try though. I am heavily tattooed. I am tattooed from the top of my ears to the top of my feet. Full back piece, full arm pieces, and my legs and my chest. My dad was a tattoo artist, guys. I grew up in a tattoo shop. That's all I ever knew my whole life was tattoos. The smell of green soap, the sound of the machines, that was my life. That was my joy. Now, parent-wise, I lost both of my parents. Actually, I've lost four sets of parents, and that's a long story. Um, step and biological. So I don't have that, Mommy, I need you, or Daddy, I need somebody to talk to. My dad was my best friend. I am very blessed. Like I said, my circle is small, but my circle is strong. That's all I can keep saying is thank you to my family. I love them so very much. So when I didn't fit in with the cookie cutter moms and trying to cook recipes and things like that, it hurt my feelings. It really did. And I never let things hurt my feelings. I've always been edgy. I've always dressed edgy. I don't dress as a typical, you know, housewife. I have been gothic my entire life, if that's what you want to call me as gothic, because I'm into all my monsters and magic and moons and, you know, but that's who I am. And I, was, I wasn't allowing myself to be that person. I was trying to change my appearance, change my voice. I cuss like a truck driver. Now, Phone Jones, who I absolutely adore, and that's going to make me emotional. Phone Jones has loved me from the beginning of the time I was just a loyal subscriber to her till when I was a creator. That girl would call me every day to make sure that I was okay. And I stepped back because I didn't want my negativity to crush her because she's such a positive person and I love her for that. I'm getting the ugly cry here. So I, I love you if you're watching. Um, we'll get together soon and speak. But yeah, she loved me. She was one of those people, you know, the Mom Life 7, I adore her. Sweet Sadie JTV, she is so beautiful, even though that, you know, I'm like this little Halloween queen, she still loves me, and that made me feel so important, so special. And there's so many other people that have supported me from the very beginning, because I wouldn't be where I'm at now if I didn't have support. And I would have grown more if I would have been able to put more into my channel. But the more the judgment was coming, and the more people were putting their nose up in the air at me, the less I wanted to film, the less I wanted to share, the less I wanted to do anything. So, I, like I said, I'm stepping back. It is a work in progress. I am working on myself. I am trying to learn to love myself again. I am trying to do positive things for myself. I'm a full-time student again, and I'm so excited about that because I'm finally gonna do something I want to do with myself. My kids are getting older. I have raised beautiful, independent children. You know, Rhiannon's going to be 19, Nana's going to be 18 in December, and Wolf is going to be 13 in August. It's like my babies are growing up. So I had to kind of figure out what am I going to do now that I don't have to be mom 24-7, even though in my mind I'm mom 24-7, but I have more time for myself now that way. So that's rough too, because especially when you've been so attached to your babies, 
and all of a sudden your babies don't need you anymore you kind of get lost in translation I have a very supportive hubby he is amazing I absolutely adore him and without them they wouldn't remind me that I'm an okay person just the way I am so if you're going through these feelings make sure that people around you are not telling you not you, that your feelings aren't valid because your feelings are valid you are special you are beautiful if you're angry get angry if you're sad get sad if you need to cry cry if you need to scream scream but feel your emotions do not hide your emotions because they're never gonna go away they're just gonna get worse and it's okay to have those feelings your feelings are valid a hundred percent and I'm only saying this because I needed to hear it myself because we live in this society where you're only as good as your likes you're only as good as your following you're only as good as your you know thumbs ups and that's bullshit we are so much more than that I believe what you put in the universe is what you get back and there's so many fake people out there that say oh women supporting women where show me where I would love to see it because I would join it I believe we should be lifting each other up instead of tearing each other down about oh her hair looks like this oh I can't believe she wore that there's so many more things going on in life that matter that stuff doesn't matter and it's so easy to get sucked into that and I didn't want to see my kids getting sucked into that or see me getting sucked into that so it's time to make healthier choices I'm sorry I am a hot mess like I told you I generally don't even do front-facing videos and for a lot of you that want to know why I don't do front-facing videos it is because of the judgment I have a lot of support but I do have the few that like to talk shit it is what it is I know as a youtuber you have to have thick skin and by the way for those of you that do talk shit I do have thick skin because not only did I look like this much my entire life with tattoos my mother did my father did I'm used to it so if you're going to attack my skin or how I look or how I dress you're gonna to have to find something else to bother me because that doesn't bother me I was just allowing myself to judge myself and that's what messed me up the most I'm not gonna fit in it ever gonna fit in and that's okay I would rather be the square peg instead of trying to fit inside of a hole you know I've never been inside the box I'm the outside of the box kind of kid so if you stuck around this long that is what's going on with me I tried not to get too emotional with this video I have filmed about four videos so after this I'm going to be putting videos out for you guys um, if you want to see my journey with this madness I feel like the the mad what is it the mad tea party from the Alice in Wonderland the Mad Hatter that is how I feel right now um, if you're going through it too and you need to talk just hit me up in the comments down below I am going to be making a new email for my channel and a new Instagram so that way you guys can reach out to me outside of YouTube I don't know what else to say I'm going to slowly be back I can't guarantee you I'm gonna jump on here all the time I can't guarantee a video always but I will try my hardest and with that being said guys don't forget to be kind inspired be inspired and I will see you soon with another video and I love you all bye guys